Hi folks, today we're gonna to take a look at a project we can do with this Adafruit TRRS Trinky. It's a little device that they just came out with. It's about $10. It has a USB plug on one end and a three and a half millimeter plug on the other. Uh, anybody can buy them. There's nothing to assemble. It's just as is, works out of the box. And it allows you to add a little bit of logic, whatever you want it to do, uh, in between, in between your AT switches and your USB port. So in our case today, we are going to do two switch scanning on a budget using a couple of Logitech switches and an adapter. And I'm going to show you why that's important. So before we dive into how to make this uh, project work, let's talk a little bit about two switch scanning and what it really is. Now, a lot of you might think that's a new term for you, but you've probably already used it. You probably have already done two switch scanning in your own life. It is accessing a website via a keyboard where you tab, 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 get over to the field you want, hit enter, and it'll activate the button. That next, next, next select, where two different buttons do that, is all two switch scanning is. It's pretty simple, and it's very powerful, and really common in the assistive technology world. What you see on the right here is actually a speech generating software product called CoughDrop. Uh, it used to be open source, it's not anymore. It was developed by Brian Whitmer, a good friend of ours. And, um, this system is used when somebody wants to be able to communicate, but is nonverbal, can't access their, their voice um, the way they'd like to. Um, it allows them to select the symbols on the screen and it will produce the words. Have you ever seen uh, Stephen Hawking? He used a, a speech generating device. Uh, that's what these look like. And the one that I'm looking at here on the right, I'm gonna show first how you do this with a mouse. You'd use your mouse and you'd say, let's say I wanted to say something simple like, I like you. You say, I, I like, like you. you. And if I click up here, I like you. it'll say the sentence. Now, I'm really slow with, uh, with speech generating devices in general. There are people who are super fast with them. Our good friend Chris uses this at night. Chris, Chris Young uses this at night uh, when he's on, on his vent. Um, and it is a very powerful tool for people who really need it. But if you can't use the mouse, how do you access a system like this? Well, they have what's called row column scanning or two switch scanning. And I'm gonna show you how that works. All right, let's make that same uh, statement. Uh, but this time we're gonna use two switch scanning. So the B button here is my next button and the A is my select. So I'll hit next, next, select. That puts me on the row. If I hit next, I'll go all the way across until I get to the one I want. I want I. I. Like, like, go down to select, select. I like you. If I want to say the full sentence, I will move over to this field. I like you. I like you. All right. Now that might be, seem clunky. It might seem slow and it kind of is, but for people who use this, they get very fast with it. And there are all kinds of optimizations in terms of the order of the scanning and the scan patterns, things like that that folks use. Um, but step one is you need to be able to get two switches into the system like cough drop and have them recognize the switches as such. And that's what this little project does. All right, let's go ahead and assemble this. This is a solder free, really simple uh, project. Here is my TRS Trinky. I'm going to take this stereo splitter. It takes a TRR, it takes a TRS jack, a uh, plug, excuse me. It's a tip ring sleeve. There's a standard stereo connector, and it's splitting it out into left and right. So this is a standard stereo to mono splitter, and we're going to use that by plugging it in here. And then we're going to take the uh, white plug. And I'm going to plug my A switch into it. If I take my B switch, plug it into my red plug, and that's all there is to it on the hardware side. Right? That's all the wiring we need to do. Um, the next thing we have to do is to load up software onto this device, which is written in Python, that will actually read these switch presses and convert them into keystrokes. Now, once it's sending keystrokes, it's fairly simple to get cough drop to read keystrokes and act as uh, treat those as switch inputs. And all of the speech generating software out there, every system that I've ever seen, has the ability to take keystrokes and treat them like switches, which makes this nice and simple. Now, some of you are probably thinking, 
I don't have a problem speaking. I don't need a communication device. Why would I care? But a lot of you might, if you have disabilities, might be saying, I want to be able to control my iPad, my iPhone, my Android, my Mac, not your Windows, at least not with other software because Windows doesn't include scanning, which is really strange. But if you want to control, for example, your iPhone, like mine here, um, it has built-in scanning software. So we're going to take this exact same setup, the same that was just plugged in. I haven't changed the programming at all. I'm going to plug it into this on-the-go adapter right here. And this is going to convert this USB into a USB-C, which is what this iPhone 15 wants. And so now if I hit my next button, you'll see it's moving through all of my options. And I can select one. So let's go here into Notes. So I'll hit Select. And you'll see that it's breaking this down more efficiently. You'll notice it's going through it section by section, right? So let's go down here to notes. And it says hi, because I was testing this earlier, but let's uh, let's say hi there. So we'll type in there, we'll hit next, 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 next. It will get us down to the keyboard. We hit next, let's go down to a space. And you'll see it's doing predictive text for us. So let's, I could, I could actually skip this, but let's get started on the T and you'll see, I'll hit the T and you'll see it's predicting the word there. So I'll hit enter. I'll use the predictive text to say, hi there. It says, hi there. And let's, let's just continue on here. Let's do, how are you? Hi there. How, and whoops. How are you? Hi there, how are you? So you can do everything on a uh, iPhone or iPad that you can do with your finger. You can use switch control to access. It's not always efficient, but if you are limited in your mobility and you wanna control a modern device like an iPad or an iOS device like this I iPhone or Android has similar functionality, it works. Now, in the guide on the Adafruit site, I go through exactly how the code works. Um, it's very straightforward Python code, as you can see here. Uh, you load it up on the machine. It just works. It uses their CircuitPython system, which is incredibly powerful and very easy to use. Um, and even if you don't want to learn how to code, you can download the, the code we have there, and it will work for you as well. So I hope you're as excited about this development as I am. Uh, this is definitely one of the best $10 devices I've ever seen. We're going to be doing some more videos and guides about how to use this as a mouse and a gamepad. So uh, stick around wherever you see this video. There's probably a link to one of the others as well. As always, um, thank you very much to Adafruit for taking care of the uh, AT makers out there and the AT users, therefore. And always, as always, good luck and have fun.